for the Monday, October 7th, 2019 meeting of the Norton Conservation Commission. Uh, first hearing is a request for determination of applicability. File DET 1087, CIL Realty of Mass Incorporated, 183 John Scott Boulevard. Continued from the September 23rd meeting. Hi. Hi, Bob. Uh, representing the, uh, the applicant, um, Joe Lewis, on 183 John Scott Boulevard. Um, Hasbro has been submitted for the prior work that needed to be done. So they're set for the issuance of the determination as a negative three, and then we can also issue the certificate of compliance for the previous permit. Um, 250478. Okay, any questions, Dan? No questions. Lisa? Nope. Ron? No. Nope. You want to close first? All right. All right. So close the public hearing. Is there a second? Julie makes a motion to close the public hearing. Second by Ron. All those in favor? Aye. 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 Okay. Now you're. motion as previously stated. Okay. Julie makes a motion to issue a negative three determination of applicability. Second by Ron. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moves. And about the prior. Correct. No, we can do that now. We just have to add it as um, at the end of the meeting, open session topics not reasonably anticipated within 48 hours um, because today was the inspection. Um, I'm just trying to help these people get their closing all taken care of. What was the number again? 250 yeah. 478. Yeah. And then we just have to remember, as council said at the last meeting, that we have to put it on the next agenda. To talk about it. Talk about it, ratify it, and then we're okay with open meeting law um, yeah. because it was a last minute addition. Well, I move we issue a certificate of compliance for filing the 250 that four seventy. Second. That's a full, right? A full. Uh, Julie makes a motion to issue a full COC. File 250-478, seconded by Lisa. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Okay, thanks. Thanks, Bob. Good. Yeah. So I'll have to come back and go. Mm -hmm. So it's like we go now. It's so it's like we we'll come back, yeah. Uh, thank you. Yeah. Okay, thank you so remember. much. Thanks. Good night, Bob. Good night. Good night. Have a good one. Thank you. So, last one, Samson? No, I told him I didn't need to be. We're oh, only we're waiting. Go. We're only waiting for. Oh, got you. One quick item. So. Okay. Uh, let's just get this back before we. Yeah, no problem. Yep. Thank you. Okay. 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 Is still the wrong number though. Oh, I didn't do it on that sheet. Oh, I just reprint that page. Yeah, just reprint this page, but with yep, the with correct. The okay, we gotta resign that, but you can go into the next one. Okay. We just have to fix the next hearing is notice of intent file 250 1048. Frank Fournier of the town of Norton Pine Street to propose plans to install a water main along Pine Street within 100 feet of wetlands. Continued from the September 23rd, 2019 meeting. We need to do the National Heritage. Which they got, right? I'm sorry, hang on. Okay. I'm sorry. Say it again. I didn't think I had the right. File so number there. This, they were waiting for a National Heritage letter, right? And they Correct. Received it. We received the letter from Natural Heritage. They did a time of year restriction on some of the work for the um, water department that was included in the draft order of conditions. 
And so we're just waiting for a book and page information from them so we can add it to the order and issue the permit. Oh, what, what's this time of year restriction for? What species? Box turtle. Oh. Yeah. November to April, right? Oh, it's, uh, it's whatever we put on. Uh, so we reference that in this order? We did. Okay. Um, it is attachment A. Um, oh, six. We did, actually, I think they gave us a revised sheet, yeah. so number five, we can add that was the, the quantification. That's the one that we're resigning. Um, and then special conditions, it's mentioned in 11. Okay. Is this the one with only two dust conditions? I wonder if we need more. Oh, are we looking for comments? Sign this one. Um, number five, Jennifer. Still, it looks like it's still a draft form with uh, riverfront alteration. Do we have to close first? Or we do that last week? Well, I guess that's the question. Everything, everything has been submitted as needed. Correct. So uh, I can offer a motion to close the hearing on uh, 250 Yes. So moved. Julia makes the motion to close the public hearing for file 250-1048, seconded by Ron. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. This is the one we just had to resign. Right. Okay. So that we're now discussing the orders? Yes. Sure. So number five, yep, we need to add the um, square footage for riverfront area. We did get a revised form. <clears throat> so we can add that. Yep. There's no problem adding that. So Jennifer, is there any reason we didn't note the ACEC? I, I forgot it was in the ACEC until I got to 33. As a finding, do we normally do that? No, yeah, we do. It's, in, it's number seven, isn't it? Under finding? Oh. Yep. Oh, sorry, missed that. Yes. Okay, so are we going to issue the draft pending this page update? Page, yeah. Well, the square foot of rear front. Yeah, they gave it to us. We just have to add it. Oh, okay. They what gave it? it to us recently. Oh, okay. Do you know the number? Uh, not off the top of my oh, okay. head. It's in the file. Yeah. Okay. Um, okay. But that'll be added. So we want to we want to issue them. Yes. We're ready to issue. Okay. Uh, we'll make a motion to issue um, uh, order conditions for two five zero dash one zero four eight. As discussed in pending the square foot of riverfront area impact. Second. Lisa makes a motion to uh, issue an order of conditions for 250 1048 as discussed. And seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moved. Yeah. Okay. Next hearing is the notice of intent. File 250 1040, 308 East Main Street, continued from the August 12th meeting. This is the Bernie and Phil's project. They are not ready for um, a review. They have not submitted new information. They requested a continuance to the November 18th meeting. I so move. Okay. Julian makes a motion to continue the public hearing for File 250 1040 to the November 18th meeting, seconded by Ron. All those in favor? Aye. Next hearing is a request for an amendment to existing order of conditions for file 250-996, 19 King Philip Road, continued from the September 9th meeting. Uh, new information was dropped off and left outside in the hallway, which we didn't know about until Friday when they emailed and asked if we had it, and I said, where did you leave it? <laughs> so. We got it this morning and didn't have time to review it. So they have requested a continuance to the 1028 meeting. I so move. Julie makes a motion to continue the public hearing for file 250-996 to the October 28th meeting. Second by Ron. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Our next hearing is an abbreviated notice of resource area delineation for East Hodges Street. Continued from the September 23rd meeting. 
they have drafted revised plans according to um, our site visit from the spring. Um, our consultant art, Alan, uh, wants to look at them before they print them. Um, they did not submit the vernal pool observation forms and they should include those. Um, so that's something you probably want to specifically require and then they have requested a continuance to the 1028 meeting. Julie makes a motion to continue the public hearing for file 250-1030. Seconded by Dan. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. Next hearing is a notice of intent for file 250-1032, Oak Street. Continue from the September 23rd meeting. Okay, we did get revised plans and a new packet of information addressing our wetland consultants' comments, but they never addressed our consulting engineers' comments on the proposed culvert within the driveway. So um, I mentioned that and suggested they may want to continue until they have all the information in for everybody to review at the same time. Um, I also noted a number of discrepancies and items missing from the packet that they did submit that's bulleted on your agenda. So I will send that to them. They requested a continuance to 1028. I so move. Second. Julian makes a motion to continue the public hearing for file 250-1032 to the October 28th meeting. Second by Dan. All those in favor? Aye. Excuse me, going on a year. Right? The oh, first yeah. time they appeared yeah, both of them. was 10 18 Both wow. of them with multiple wow. continuances and virtually no progress. By a week, I'm exaggerating, I think. By the time they get here, though, they'll <laughs> be past it. Yeah. The next hearing is a notice of intent for file 250-1037, 54 Plain Street, continued from the September 23rd meeting. Okay, two items there. The, the, they have not been submitting any documentation since um, the last request from the consulting engineer. Uh, in the meantime, I drove by last week and saw that they've completely clear-cut a new road in. Um, they've removed most of the understory and grubbed um, the majority of the site without having their wetland permit. So I issued the enforcement order and told them they needed to stop all work and stabilize all of the area that's been disturbed. Um, so you need to ratify the enforcement order. Um, we did get a response from them saying they would stop all work. Um, they're in contact with their construction team and it was not their intention to allow clearing except for the small path. The civil construction firm from North Carolina apparently did all of the work, or they contracted with a company out of New York actually to do the work. The plates on the machines are all from New York. Um, yeah. This is at the intersection of Main Street and Washington. No, that's behind the school. Next to the nurse school. Yeah, the nurse school. Yeah. Um, so if the site is like a 11-acre site, and it looked like the vast majority of the site was cleared, so at least seven or eight acres. Um, they're saying it's three acres. I don't think it's that little. How do they make this kind of error? That's what I That's a question you probably want to ask. <laughs> because there are checks and balances, not only within the solar company, right? They live and breathe by spreadsheets for every site. What's the status of design, who the subcontractors are, who, who they've, they've given permission to start. And I can't imagine that happening with all the checks and balances. Yeah, so somebody was just watching too much TV or something. I don't know. I don't know. But they did hire a local landscaper to come up with the stabilization plan. That person called me today. Um, and they're supposed to be doing Come up, coming up with the plan and doing that work this week since it's going to rain most of the week and it needs to be stabilized immediately. Yeah. So they're going to put down 
erosion control, not just sediment control. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry. Because they probably erosion control won't be back before us before the winter. What, where they're they saying they're going to have information for us and John Chesley to review this week, and they hope to be on the next meeting with the decision. And I said, I guess we'll see what information you give us since it's been months and months since the last time you gave us any information. And I don't know John's schedule right now. He might be too. He might not have enough time to give a review within a week. Mm -hmm. I, I can only presume yeah. that this is in fact just a business strategy that. In most situations, people don't notice. Yeah. You know, they get it all done, and then somebody says, hey, wait a minute, you didn't have that permit. So yeah. how did you find out about it? I drove by. Okay. I was driving by for another inspection, and well, okay, it gave it a strategy <laughs> backfired. <laughs> So I can't answer that. So we need a, a vote to ratify the enforcement order. Aye. Okay. <laughs> so are they going to appear before us to explain what happened? They should appear at the next meeting. You should tell me who you want to be at the meeting, though. The person that, uh, here's my question. I want the person, I guess like we should be seeing the person that authorized, somebody authorized the tree clearers to mobilize to the site. That's who we want person that authorized that work and what information they were uh, used to make that decision. Can we, there, along with this enforcement order, can we find them? We do not have a wetland bylaw. We, we cannot bylaw. find them. Oh, uh, it's time to try. But I, I move that we ratify the enforcement order on file Thank you. number 250 1037. Second. Do you want to make a motion to ratify the enforcement order for file 250-1037, seconded by Dan. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. So moved. And so now I know who you want to show up at the meeting. I'll let them know that they have requested a continuance to 1028. Yeah, I want, I want a representative from NextGrid, not their engineer, not their consultant, who will tell us it was an accident. I want the person that was directly responsible from NextGrid to authorize the work. Okay. 1028, is it? Yep. Continuance to 1028. Okay. Uh, motion? I made the motion. You did the. That was to ratify the enforcement. I'll move to. Maybe. I don't know. All right. So you made a motion. All right. Dan Pearson makes the motion to continue the public hearing for file 250 1037 to the October 28th meeting. Seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. Okay. Thank you. Next. I'm going to wait till it comes back. Yeah. So we didn't get a hard copy or even an ephemeral yeah. virtual copy here. So you say uh, it's all worth it. Right. It was, it was the our standard set of conditions, but I have one here if you want to look at it. It's it's the standard set of conditions. Yeah. So we need a motion. Yeah, but if right. anybody wants, I didn't. I just didn't want to print stuff. That's fine. But <laughs> I'll make a motion to issue the order for file number two five zero dash one zero four nine. Second. Lisa makes a motion to issue the order of conditions for file two fifty dash ten forty nine. Seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. We have draft minutes, August 12th, 2019 meeting. I can, I'll make a motion to uh, accept the draft minutes of 8-12-19. Second. Lisa makes a motion to accept the draft minutes from the August 12, 2019 meeting. Seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. 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 So moves. 
and to a review of the draft minutes from the September 9th, 2019 meeting. Everybody can no, accept them. Know. Don't even have to be there. <laughs> hmm? I wasn't. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. The lawyer said that everyone can accept Town council. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Discussion okay, well. at the last meeting. I will make the motion then to accept the draft minutes of 9919. Hmm? Setting a precedent, just like our government making stuff up. <laughs> <laughs> well, not it. The lawyer said it was okay. I'm, I'm good. Second. Lisa makes the motion to accept the draft <laughs> minutes from the September 9th, 2019 meeting. Seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So moves. Next we have a review of the September 23rd, 2019 meeting minutes. Um, I, I would just like a sentence. Yes. And just to clarify, don't email everyone with your opinions. Okay, but I you can't was, reply all. The, I, had, I thought about that. And there, there's no... It's no opinion. There's no opinion given. I'm just saying that I'm going to. I'm just going to say that I want a sentence. Uh, so That's that an opinion. I do it by Twitter. Do it by Twitter. <laughs> That's true. Uh, That's yeah. how I do all my other self-aggrandizement. Uh, so <laughs> okay. I don't right. see why. Yeah. So. And then, uh, I think amendments. you need to read it for the record. You have to, yeah, read it yeah. for the record. Um, Do you remember what it is off the top of your head, Dan? I have the email. Yeah, I have it. Too. Wait a minute. Uh, somehow, I enthusiastically, like, uh, offering his enthusiastic support. Uh, <laughs> Wait, where does it go? Enthusiastically <laughs> offering his support. Oh. Pearson noted the timely nature of the project, it. citing the Sorry. Cornell oh. Lab of Ornithology <laughs> study that warns nearly three billion birds, very serious man, big number, are uh, gone that, since 1970. <laughs> and then I gave the, uh, the URL. I thought the one sentence somewhere was okay. I think it should, should stay in there, absolutely. Okay. Um, the only thing about the URL is, did you mention that at the meeting? Yeah, he did. He did? Okay. I, yeah, he mentioned. At the meeting. Me well, I mentioned the, the, um, I said that NPR today or yesterday cited uh, something like NPR cited a study or yeah, and you, you Cornell the, Lab yeah, of exactly. Ornithology. Yeah, right. yeah, I did name it. Okay. So you making a motion for those minutes as well? Yes. Oh, well, after, after that, uh, that earth shattering uh, addition, uh, I will. Okay. Dan makes a motion to accept the minutes from the September 23rd, 2019 meeting as amended, seconded by Julian. All those in favor? Aye. So moved. All right. Um, so under new business, uh, we have a new violation at 77 Charlotte Ave. Um, that letter went out probably Thursday. And so Abutters had said there were at least three dump truck loads of fill brought to the site. Um, it is within wetland and floodplain. Owner came in to see me today and we've scheduled a site inspection. I'm sorry, where is Charlotte? What part of It's near Winnicunit, off Bay Road. Oh. Yeah. Um, Last time we talked about scheduling an inspection for 68 Dean Street, you guys came up with uh, an inspection date and you received an email about whether or not the person could make it. So how do you want to proceed? Is it required that the owner have been there? Yes. <laughs> I, I don't recall the details of the email, but it was kind of like it wasn't available until 2022 or something. We can't accommodate that totally reasonable request. It, it, seemed, it seemed rather. I mean, either this person is totally overwhelmed with observations or they're not being. So 
Jennifer, have you done an inspection? Uh, from the road. We went back and forth multiple times about, um, I could just do an inspection and we can clear this up very easily, and it was, no, you don't need to come and do an inspection. What, what is the nature of the concerns? Uh, well, first, you, we gave a enforcement letter about all of the cutting and clearing that was done up against the wetland and the certified vernal pool. Okay. Then we gave another letter um, that said you need to file for a permit and the copy of the permit was given to the individual and was never filled out. Then we gave a follow-up letter that said hey where's your permit and then nothing happened and then I drove by and loads of fill were dumped on the site again without a permit and so we issued another violation letter and that's when we said we need to come out and do the inspection few conversations with the individual um, and said he couldn't uh, make Mondays or Wednesdays because he had class and I said do an inspection on Thursday with the Commission then and then that's where you selected a date that you could make it. You did. So it was going to be the 10th, I believe. Did we not ask him already what... Throw the calendar wide open and say, give us two or three times and dates and times and we'll make it work. Okay. Uh, you know, Saturday, Sunday, a couple of us can get together and go. We don't need a form for that, right? Just any representative? Correct, because okay. you're not deciding anything, you're just, just doing the site right. inspection to gather information and take photographs. But that information can be shared with everybody else. Correct, so at the right. following meeting. Right. And okay. then the board, as a commission, right. makes the decision. Okay. Yeah. So the, the 10th was an option. That was our option that was the last time. And he said no. He said no, correct. And so the 17th is not an option? The 17th is um, when you wanted to do a special meeting to go over the buffer zone guidance, oh, yeah. which I actually need would like to change to a week later. 24th. To the 24th, yeah, if that's all right with people. Well, I'm going to be around the Thursday? It's a Thursday. Okay. Dan will give you notes. Well, I'm actually reading that, but it's not <laughs> mysterious. I mean, no. No, it's not. No. Just get over. Um, so you could make the offer to this person about the 17th, if you like. Well, we're running out of daylight during the week, too. Yeah. You are. Early. I, I think yeah. Halloween would perhaps be ideal. Let's show this house. It'll be too dark soon. about what you might wear to see a Halloween costume. Oh, okay. Keep your eyes open. I don't know Just have to throw any, as many open days as he has. and coming up in the next four weeks and we'll just we'll make it happen then we'll find a bit way to do it yeah okay we can do that but Thursday is going to be our option for what for for this inspection no we don't have one we're going to tell him give us any day he's got available coming up and we'll find a way to get some people out there yeah somehow so, he has he has plenty of time to arrange with contractors to dump a bunch right. of dirt that's so, why I think he's stalling all these well okay and you know if, if this is the game he's going to play, then do we boot it to the next level, or what do we do? What is that? Uh, well, you can go enforcement, but or enforcement order, or you um, try to get Friend DEP involved, place. but really it's a violation that could easily be remedied. Well, I mean, this is the irony. We've had this, yeah. this situation in town where somebody, uh, to their own detriment, is refusing to come up with any compromise. And it sounds like another, another individual who's making decisions not in their best interest. But like, that's why I think we do one more sh opportunity, and if they don't do it, then we do enforcement order after that. So they can't make it to any hearings. Well, they're choosing to to avoid any kind of, uh, well, even information gathering 
situation. I mean, this this problem, th this person probably has an illusion about what it is is needed to be in compliance, just the way everybody else in town is in compliance. Mm. And you know, the the kind of the basic uh, mental status as to why they feel no, they're they're not going to participate in the same process that everybody else has to participate in and not going to acknowledge that this process is in fact for the greater good of the community. So it's like, what do you do with these people? Other than say, this is a poor choice. So do we ask them for a date in the next two weeks and then say if we don't hear back from them then we do an EO? Two weeks. Seven days a week. Any day. I don't Get care what home. day it Sometime. is. I don't care what time it is. Yeah. If it's light out. Is right? this person a contractor? Or you don't know what he does for a living? Not a contractor. Do we need to give him a full two weeks? No. Whatever days he's available. Next hour. I mean, give him the... Uh, it's more than reasonable. The enforcement order. I think so. To say, you know, what's your time frame in the next two weeks? So is he a long-standing um, member of the community? One year. Listen, he said he else. moved here a year ago. Yeah, so he doesn't really know anybody Within the year. that could kind of go knock on the door and say, I'm certain they know plenty of people in town. Well, all right. It's just, in this day and age, Nobody can really decide to um, be in isolation making up their own rules. It's just not reasonable. Um, yeah, okay. So we can send that out, ask them to pick a few dates within the next two weeks for the commission to do the inspection, whenever. He's available, but should be within the next two weeks. Oh, I love what's going on. We're filing enforcement order. Okay. 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 Um, do we have the 51 Clap Street stuff? No, I don't know what. I don't want to file them or anything that is. I don't know about that one. Oh, we've been talking about it for a while. Uh, in the meantime, we're looking for another file that came up at the last minute um, for a certificate of compliance. And uh, there was a wetland violation out there, but today they are actually cleaning everything up. They just couldn't finish everything today. I think the closing happened maybe a week ago, but they're trying to close everything out as well. Um, Is that on here? No, it had. It needed to be added, and she's just looking for the file and okay. the form to sign. I didn't see a file number on that one. Like I got the map and parcel number, but I didn't see a file number. So you're saying that there was a file for that? Not 54 Plain Street, 51 Clap Street. Yep, thanks. Um, so we'll just give her a few minutes to find that file. In the meantime, I have to go to finance committee meeting on Wednesday for the fall town meeting. We had requested funding full for time. Melissa to be full time. Um, There's more than enough work to do and Again, I'm, I think I'm the only department who hadn't had my staffing returned to full time since the last recession, and that's well over 10 years ago. Every other department has gotten back to full time and additional staff on top of that, and I just. But as well, you brought in Oh, yeah, yeah. There's almost $2 million in grants. Yeah. So that needs to be yeah. uh, brought forth. Yeah. Cyclone support is too, so make sure to mention that mm -hmm. to them. They said it's support and maybe it's there too, so. Yes. Okay. Um.
Um, did I remember to send you the town report? Yes, you did. I did? Okay, good. Now, is, now, is that the final report, okay. or are we supposed to look? Uh, no, no, that's the final report. Um, if you want to read that, I'll look over. For Just read it to the record? Yeah, please. Okay, um, this is a letter to Stacy Minahan, Fields and Thomas. Uh, Dear Ms. Min Minahan, the department is reviewing the above reference file pursuant to the issuance of a superseding order of conditions regulating the proposed work within the buffer zone to bordering vegetated wetlands, bordering land subject to flooding, riverfront area, and area of critical environmental concern. The, de the department's review of the above reference file indicates that the pro project proposal exceeds the following wetland thresholds as found in the Massachusetts Environmental Policy Act. NEPA regulations at 301 CMR 11.03, section 11B. 11B, any project within the designated ACEC unless the project consists solely of one single family dwelling. Therefore, the project is subject to review under the MEPA regulations, Massachusetts General Laws, Chapter 30, Section 61 to 62H, an Environmental Notification Form, ENF, should be filed with the Secretary of Environmental Affairs. Blank ENFs may be obtained on the web at www.state.ma.us slash MEPA slash or by contacting Secretary Kathleen the Aridis, Executive Office of Energy and Environmental Affairs, Attention MEPA Office, 100 Cambridge Street, Suite 900, Boston, Massachusetts. Failure to file an ENF within 70 days of this notification may result in the Department issuing a water quality certificate denying the proposed project without prejudice. Please notify this office in writing within 14 days of the date of this letter as to whether you will be submitting the requested items, and if so, the date by which the Department will receive them. If you have any questions or need additional information, please contact me at 508-946-2807. Sincerely, Gary Makuch, Permit Technical Reviewer. Wow, so they read it for an ENF now? Yes, we mentioned that at the DEP appeal on-site meeting. Yeah. Was that 3-5? Yeah, 3-6. This is the Bay Road Solar Project. So before DEP can make a decision on what we approved and they appealed, they have to go through the whole MEPA process and file an environmental notification form that goes to all state agencies and, all, and the public. And then once the secretary issues a certificate, then the department, DEP, can issue a superseding order. So it would have been simple for the accept the order we gave them? They could have, yes, accepted well, yeah. the approval we gave so they them. They can go back now, can they? If they, this thing gets denied to the. Thanks. Can they go back to the original order and try to build it that way? Or are they all like, gone now? No, you can't go back to the original okay. order. Okay. I mean, the original um, large project design. Yeah, no, they have. No, but the order we gave them on the reduced project design. Can they yeah, go back DEP to that? can uphold. DEP has a choice to either uphold. Oh, I see. But they still have to file MEPA and right. do an ENF. Yeah. They can they can affirm the commission's decision. Right. Okay. Yeah. So because they appealed it to the state, they have a whole nother permit and set of hoops to go through to jump through with the state. Right. So remember, they wouldn't give us two more weeks to review that massive set of plans because they were in such a big time frame. Yeah. Now they've got six to nine months of appeals and MEPA. So Pretty much they didn't want to do anything they agreed to at the public hearing. Yeah. But they agreed to it. So. They didn't want to give us the geotechnical data, you know, a number of things like that. So um, we did get, they also changed the plan. It was a different plan that they gave. No, no, just the location of the batteries and the inverters. That was a right. different plan than what they gave the planning board. So for us, it was outside of jurisdiction. For the planning board, they stuck it right in the floodplain. So we just today got the revised plans that they want DEP to rule on, which that's the only change. Um, so now we'll get to comment through the MEPA process. Correct. As well. We'll, we'll get two more comment um, options. Um, so I drafted the letter for DEP appeal, and then once they file the environmental notification form that's open for everybody, um, then we'll have a comment letter for that as well, and a site inspection for that as well. But it's a long process, six to nine months, you said? 
pretty easily. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, and we did get an, a, a letter from the abutters today about the appeal, so they copied us. Um, 51 clap. What are, What's the number? 250282. They're in the middle of the restoration work, but uh, <coughs> or the removal of all the trash and the compost that's in the wetland. It's, it's ancient. Yeah. So we gotta trust that they'll finish. I'm confident that they will finish tomorrow and that it'll be done. Yeah. So any motion to do Yep. I move the issue of the full certificate of compliance for file number 250-282. Julian makes a motion to issue a full CFC for file 250-282, seconded by Ron. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So approximately when was that issue? Like the 80s. 80s? Mm -hmm. When was the Wetlands Protection Act? Oh, yeah. 70s. 70s? Okay. Well, 86 were wetland regs, I think. Awesome. Yeah. yeah. It's in that book. Is it? I should probably read it, huh? The buffer zone guidance book. So this is another one that because it came up at the last minute, we need to add it to the next agenda and ratify. Oh, we just did? Yep. Okay. Yep. So don't be surprised if you see it again at something. It's going to be hard to keep track of this. No, nope. no, no, we just, we ratify it. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> that's it. We got this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, do you want to say anything about the Charter Commission? Yeah, meeting? we were invited to um, join the Charter Commission after the finish year. Thank um, you. Anybody wants to get on there with me? Um, they have questions. I want to get your feedback, how you feel about the commission itself, the, the way we have it set up. Um, if there's any changes you think would be a good idea to have in, char in a charter. Um, we can bring three without there being a quorum since we didn't post it. But if three of you guys want to go, I'll sit it out because I have to go back again with the water department. So it's up to you guys if you want to go after we're done here. If nobody else is going, I'll certainly go. I mean, no one is obligated to go besides me. Um, okay. Ron? Lisa? I'll go with you. Okay. We got three. Oh, All right. Sounds good. Cool. Pretty quick. Is that yeah. much you could say? Is there any, like, do you have a talking point so you want to go over as a commission? Because you're going and you're representing the commission. Do you want to uh, think about a couple of things or are you just going to wing it when you get there? Yeah, we're not so sure about the conservation. <laughs> well, I mean, with regard to the charter process, yeah. we're not, I mean, it's an either or situation. We're still going to exist as a commission, regardless of if there's a change in select numbers versus yeah. primarily town manager. Is that the I believe so. Uh, oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. you saw that? Yeah. Okay. Did you get it too? Is that what is it? Email? Is it I think that's oh, yes, one of the. Yeah. So yeah. when I went, it was more about how do things run efficiently and what resources do you need to be more efficient? The idea of having a half time secretary when you're bringing in $2 million in grants is a little bit foolish. Because do all departments bring in grants with full time people? But I don't know if this is there the was right one year I brought no, in three times the grants of this town total. Not only does she do that, but we're the only department that uh, has a surplus, aren't we? We got chairs. Did Phyllis's hours chairs. get cut in 2009? Or was she full, was she full time before that? And then go to part time? Or Phyllis was, was full time. And then they brought it back uh, the for right? probably 17 years. Oh, wow. She then went, um, she, so she was part, she ended up being part time with the cuts in the recession. And then planning board secretary was full time. She went part time and then um, retired. So then Phyllis took up part time hours here and here oh, and was still full time, but through two no, different departments. Right. Then when she retired, 
we had to um, go separately, um, the two departments. And so then I only got part-time, and then they only got part-time. But now they're up to full-time, I believe. Um, I think the message is that, you know, we're so... I believe we run so efficiently because of Jennifer, but she's also bound by this, you know, constraint over the, the last how many years that she has no help. And, you know, Melissa's only, what, 18 hours yeah. a week. Which is, oh, yeah, it should be close to full time. If not 32, it should be 40. But I don't know if this is the right venue for that. No, it's not. That's, but, I mean, it, it has to be put out there so yep. that the town is being foolish because the effect is much larger than management of the potential. We have to talk about other things we want to do that we don't have time to do now because we have a part-time help. It's the wetland bylaw that you have no time at all to even begin to start moving forward. And I'd like to see that happen in the next year, but yeah. if we don't get full-time help, it's not likely going to happen. So, it's right, stormwater, open space projects. Yeah. And the, the wetland review is getting more and more technical. Yeah. So, you know, having full-time help to field a lot of the questions that come in and. Um, simplify my review process would make things go a lot better too. It's almost, um, well we certainly need Melissa <coughs> close to full time, but then I think we need a part time technical lead if possible. That person, you know, if the state does it on a certain level, it's called an administrative completeness review, so the package comes in where Jennifer has to, you know, basically waste her time going through, do they fill everything out, are the right dates here, is everything complete? So it's basically, does the form and, um, meet the criteria? Well, where she can concentrate on the technical aspect of it. So to have somebody part-time to, to do that would be even better. That's a lot. Are you talking about for the charter or just for like this year? For the time year? I, think I mean, it, in general, yeah. it would be nice to have. Again, yeah, I don't know if it's the right audience, but yeah. certainly. Sure. Help Jennifer, help us. Uh, well, fall town meeting, where is that? The 21st, 21st yeah. we've requested full time right. funds for Melissa, but then I also put in for a part time seasonal person um, to help in the summer, and that's mostly from all the discussions about camping at Edith Reed. Right? right? The, the abutters said they really want to see a part time person, so we put in funds for that. I'd yeah, I think you have any support for that based on the public feedback. That so it would be good if we had the support for that. Um, I think so. But I don't so. know if that will be funded. But it was requested because you know residents had that concern, and we're trying to be sensitive to the what. Finance committee hasn't told you. Yeah, that's what you go on time with them for. I just found out today. I oh, need I to go on Wednesday, so. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Right. Okay. Do you guys have any opinions you'd like to share that you think we should relay to the Charter Commission downstairs? Since you're not going to be there? Since your time is more valuable than ours? Okay. Uh, well, I, I mean, I was just commenting on I'm not really sure what is being proposed for the reorganization of government. I assume it's, is, will it be a town council plus? They were in the information gathering phase at this point. They still have another four months before they even start thinking about what changes they want to make to the existing charter. Or, so. but, but I'm assuming that our role would be identical. It is. Well, we have the, it will be. Yeah, we have the wedding. Yeah, we so have the and, and that will change. And, and to the extent that a greater list of responsibilities will be put in the realm of the Conservation Commission, and that, of course, would mean we would have to have more personnel to manage those responsibilities. Absolutely. If, if that would be the only message that would be relevant to the Conservation Commission, that I would put in. Right. So I know when I went, I said things like, um, we don't have a town engineer. It would be, you know, a bit of cost savings for applicants um, to be able to have their stuff reviewed in-house instead of having to go for a separate peer review or a GIS person so we could um, have you know, mapping and things that we need. Are there any grants available for that? There are plenty of grants available for that, but you need somebody who's actually going to write the grant and then administer it. So. Right. Um, yeah, I think you know, 
sometimes. The storm, yeah, stormwater coordinator, um, uh, human resources department. Um, those are things that would help all departments in town hall you know, run a little bit better and save residents some money. So those are things that I brought up. Um, I like it. Yeah. Town would be good. I'll definitely get behind that. Because people don't, they, they don't necessarily trust people that are hired to work for the town, like third party agencies or whatever. And there's not really people who are working for the town directly that have the technical knowledge to mm -hmm. be able to be relied upon by the people. So they kind of in a bind. Like for example, the um, Cumberland Farms property that they're thinking about building up on, um, on West, Main. West Main Street, yeah. Um, there's a lot of opposition to that now, and it is in the zone three, and it's, a, it's, a, it's important to consider it seriously, but no one's really, they don't trust the, the proposal from the engineer that the applicant brought in at all. And there's nobody that they can look to in town that is an engineer or environmental professional really that, that could weigh in. That they could support. So. On staff, you mean? Yeah. 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 Is that uh, the former bank site? Yeah. yeah, they wanted the, the town meeting in two weeks, they wanted to do the rezoning um, to make uh, able to be to put gas station in zone three. But um, people are also upset because of the last time we did the zoning change at the town meeting, which is January, and that was the whole Bay Road thing, and that's how that whole thing happened. So I think people are going to be reluctant to automatically vote to do another zoning thing without more serious consideration. So it's unfortunate for the people in, that come in, but I don't know. Mm -hmm. I mean, the bigger question is, do we need or want another gas station in town, right? If, <laughs> true. Yeah. Well, I mean, that's free enterprise. You can't say you don't well, want yeah, it. Well, it's not zoned, but if it's not zoned correctly, then, you know. Maybe we could There's a reason. an electric car uh, recharging a station. A Tesla station? Tesla station, yeah. They have quite a few in there. I don't see a lot of Teslas in Norton, though. <laughs> um, okay, and do you need anything else for Charter Commission, or anybody have anything else to add? Um, I read the report to the town, which was very nice, and I just had one question. Passive recreation, is that uh, recreation motor? Correct. So, there's a very specific definition and difference between active recreation and passive recreation and why it's important to keep that distinction between conservation land and the activities that are compatible with those uses and recreation land and the activities that are compatible with that type of property. Yeah. So I have a question about the meeting schedule, if we have that. Sure. So we have a, a, our next meeting. Here. I know. So let's see, 1028. Three weeks. So, and after that we have. It's a week later. Another meeting a week later. Right. And then um, two weeks from that one. Mm -hmm. And then one. And, and then a month, and I'm kind of thinking. <laughs> I don't know what to do with these, because we have holidays well, and town meeting and so the second of december is not an option um, because the second of december i know it's not the, the second and fourth but you know we, we can't really do the second and fourth we could do the so first and third the first and third since the first oh. namely the second, second is two weeks 16th. from the prior meeting second. okay i mean that's okay with me so we'll do 12 2 12 2, yeah. 12, 2 and 12 16. Right. Okay. Uh, that's a good idea because we got trouble last year. We had challenged last okay. year and we only had one meeting in a row a month for a while. Yeah, I, I mean, it's not. It's I mean, if anything, it will, give us, us too. it will give us a light. Yeah, uh, exactly. Yeah. We'll letter meetings. Okay. And then we pick up again. Let's see, how many weeks is it? Yeah, it looks like about a month. It's almost not a month. We don't have a choice there, unless you want to. The 6th of January. New Year's, well, we have the 30th of well, it's December. It's good to try to stay on our, as close to our regular schedule as possible. So, so we got messed up for quite a, a couple of months And we'll meet twice in January anyway, won't we? Yeah. We'll you will meet twice in January. So that's fine. Yep. We'll meet twice every month, so that's good. Right. And then again, it will be the 10th and the 10th. Mm -hmm. 
So that'll work. Okay. Yeah. So we're gonna add twelve to. Yes. Yep. We're in twelve. Yep. Two. Good point. We Thank you. We have a meeting on twelve ten twenty four, which we will. Yeah. What's that? We'll have a meeting on ten twenty four, and possibly an inspection if we ever get back. Yeah. Yeah. Over the next yeah. two weeks, yeah. which we'll find a way that one or two of us can get to. Yep. Okay. So I think we're good, right? Yeah, and the uh, open house at the Edith Reed Conservation Property went really well, actually. There were a good 25, 30 people there. It was, it was a lot of people. Excellent. Yeah. Good job. Was that this past weekend? The weekend before. Yeah. Was, it, was it advertised on the internet by somewhere on the website? Or? Uh, Something like that. I think it went to you directly a couple times. That's right. Well, okay. yeah, I didn't know about it. It was on Instagram. We mentioned it at two meetings, two of our meetings. And Bad if idea, you're on Facebook, then it was on Recreation and Council on Aging. I didn't know. I'm not going to fly. No. <laughs> <laughs> These have a calendar on them, and you. <laughs> <laughs> hey, we good? Yes. All right, Julian. Oh, I, I move we adjourn. Thank you. Second. Julian, motion to adjourn. Seconded by Dan. All those in favor? Aye. Aye. So move.